Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week. Hope everyone has some fishy plans. I am going to go see a fishy nerd friend, Karen and Alan, and hopefully pick up some plecos and some guppies. But guys, fish room tour today. The whole kit and caboodle, everything around the world fish room tour coming up. Stay tuned. All right, fishy folks, a tour with the new camera. You can see the floor is pretty clean. The workbench is rather clean. Even my cart, I mean, there's some tools on it and an old bag for my camera. Uh, but you know, overall, not too bad. So let's take a look, where should we start? Let's look at Funky, sorry, Chunky Gold Medina and her mates. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure she's a girl. At least, I think Don from NY Gold also thinks she's a girl. Nisi, what do you think? Is she a girl? You're my goldfish guys and gals. So, yeah, just a tank of goldfish and a couple of uh, platies. And uh, it's a pair of platies. I'm pretty sure she's dropped frying here. And overnight, the goldfish have had nice tender treats and snacks. Um, there's also an L133 King Tiger Pleco somewhere hiding. I don't know where. Probably under this piece of driftwood. But I'm not going to spook them. You can see my food. I have a ton of different foods. This is a uh, trick I stole from Rich from Rich's Fishes. Rich is doing fine. He's just not making videos right now. Uh, but, you know, he keeps his food in the same thing, and I thought I'd make one myself. So, a uh, couple of things here. You know, we got the North Film Kelp Wafers that I got from Lisa at Super Cichlids. She's awesome. And uh, we have some of the Breeder line from Ocean Nutrition. These are some of the samples that they gave me to test out. Um, and, of course, other ocean nutrition products i tell you what i really like these brine shrimp flakes and they have a community flake which i have upstairs i give to my angelfish upstairs i really like them a lot what i like about them is they're kind of crunchy so they don't dissolve right away it gives it enough time for the fishies to go get them uh any cichlid pellets at first i'm like what am i going to give those to but you know han and leia down there love them the goldfish love them molly's love them. i mean everybody loves them they're just a little big for my uh my gups what else we got the north fin community also from lisa it's super cichlid we have the super secret black soldier fly larvae two millimeter pellets that hasn't been released yet and um some other stuff Oh, I really like these Sarah catfish chips. Almost gone. This is, it's not New Life Spectrum. I, I like New Life Spectrum, the, their flake, but this is, um, what is this? What's the brand? Cobalt. That ginormous cobalt flake. So, and of course, we got the fry starter. And we'll end with the cobalt ultra pellet tropical. I really like these too. So, that's kind of what we got going on for food down here you can see we have Han and Leia and Jabba just chilling. Leia's been kind of skittish lately. The tank does need a good cleaning and see all the poop build up over there. Um, I am actually considering a hang on back filter for this tank because of the poop. Um, it would make cleaning the poop a lot easier. Um, and one of the reasons is the tank is so low it's hard to create enough vacuum suction you know to to take it out into a bucket. That's right, I said bleh. So, yeah, but look how nice and big hands getting. Pretty sexy, that Oscar. Leia's a little smaller. I'm assuming Leia's the girl. If you're an Oscar expert, and you can tell without me turning them up and down and pulling up their skirt, that would be great. If not, I'm going with hand, Leia, boy, girl. All right, fishy folks, moving on. We've got the glass belly guppies. There's some fry in there. Um, I'm not sure many fry survived. I don't know if they're similar to uh, to albino species of guppies where they're a little weaker or, you know, the fry uh, don't know how to hide. But this, this female right there looks like she's about to explode with fry. Look at her. Look at her. So there's some fry and then there's some green dragon pleco babies. There's two of them in there. I just put the last of the rapache I made last week. You can see it there in the corner. Uh, so they'll eat that. Looks like the other guy is... He's already chewing down on that, so. Look at this. Trio Purple Mosaic Dumbleware Sulfur Head Guppies. You know, the longer the name, the more expensive the guppy. I've had them since probably March. No fry. I'm relatively confident fry would have survived in here if they would have dropped, but I haven't seen any. So, 
Uh, there's a male and a female, and there's a couple quarries in here. I put another female in another tank to see if, if I could get her to drop fry in there. Similar to what I did with these black panda guppies, which we'll talk about in a minute. So we'll see what happens. Also growing the, uh, the quarries out, kind of a thing. We'll see how it goes. Over here we have the red dragon guppies. These are, uh, they have the red tails and they have the black on the dorsals, which kind of sort of make them look like um, Dumbo ears. They're not really Dumbo ears though. I do have a bunch of these outside. I think there's a trio outside. There's a ginormous female I tried to catch the other day and she eluded me. So I'm just gonna leave it in here and see if she drops in here. But there's been at least two drops of frying here. We're just growing them out soon. We'll put them on the website. Uh, you can see the males really do look stunning with those black dorsal fins. I think they're they're one of my favorite fish in the fish room right now, so. All right, we'll say hi to Bruce. What's up, Mr. Bruce? Bruce is just chilling in his gigantic palace. And then uh, over here we have just grow outs of black panda guppies. Looks like these are mostly females, which is fine. Uh, females drop lots of babies. I am probably going to take these and put them in the other tank with the rest of the uh, black panda guppies because I could use the tank space. There's also some calico, I think two or three calico plecos in there. You can see there's one right there. I'm trying to breed some plecos. Speaking of plecos, L144 blue-eyed lemon plecos. These are sold to me as high fins or long fins, but clearly they're not, but that's okay. I know I have at least one male based on the bristles that's in here. Uh, tanks do for a good cleaning, but you know, so it happens when you feed the bejesus out. Let me see, this guy's chilling on some morning wood. He loves the morning wood. <laughs> anyway, um, that could be a male right there. See the bristles in the front? It would help if this would focus. There you go. Oh, now he's chilling underneath the wood. So there's seven or eight of these plecos in here. Uh, plenty of caves, plenty of hiding spots. I'm hoping to see babies one day. And uh, we'll go from there. So this tank gets quite a bit of a water change. And you can see there's about 350,000 snails in here. So I counted one day. All right, moving on. This tank is empty. This had the uh, red sore tails, but I sold them all. And down there are the chocolate mollies. I'm selling all of them, uh, shipping them out on Monday. Here we have the black panda, the original black panda guppy uh, tank. You can see there's lots of mamas and babies and daddies in there. Lots of stuff going on. This tank is empty. That tank is empty. That tank has to be drilled. Yeah, let's move this way. This tank has uh, cobra female guppies in there. Pretty sure there's some fry. There's actually one or oh, two males in there. So uh, we're probably gonna separate some more females out of there. See if we can't get some more production. Same thing over here. Uh, these are Cobra Guppy females. I know there's been some fry in here. I don't know if they've all survived or not, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Empty tank, this was the Black Molly tank. Sold them all. Uh, here are three female Cobra Guppies and some snails that were sent to me. And I gotta remember who sent them to me because he hooked me up with a bunch of stuff. Lucky Schmuck. Check out his channel, link in the description below. I think he's in Florida. He's a guy that's, you know, just like me. Has a fish room, has automatic water change, likes to do it yourself. You know, turns the camera on and starts talking. So he sent me some of these snails, some of those blue, uh, snails right there, some snails in here, and also something else I'll show you later. All right, in this tank we have guppies, the red, white, and blue American guppies, and also these fantastic pink panda platy fry, or juveniles just growing up. They're growing really slow in this tank, and I don't really know why, but it doesn't really matter, they're fine. Uh, there's also a uh, Jibiceps Pleco in here, which I can't find and I have been able to find for a couple days now, but I'm not really concerned. I think if he died, I would have definitely seen the carcass. So I'm sure he's just hiding good like most of those Plecos like to do. Moving on. In this tank, we have three albino bristlenose Plecos eating. One of them is eating morning wood, Rapashi. And then of course this fantastic betta fish. 
beta, beta, tomato, tomato. We're gonna call that a black red veil. I don't know, I don't know what it's called. But he's stellar, he's uh, for sale. He just hasn't been on a website yet. If you're interested, shoot me an email. $30 including shipping, he can be yours. All right, moving on. Uh, jade head guppies, lots of fry, lots of different births in here. Uh, there are no males in here. Well, there's males from babies, but there are no adult males. Uh, I took them all out. And you can see these guys, I am not exactly sure where they came from. Because there's only guppies in here. So, I don't know if they're just a morph from these, or did something cross-contaminate? I'm not really sure. We'll check it out when they get older, though, for sure. Alright, here we have sore tails. Uh, black... No, red tux hyphen sore tails. See, there's a male. There's some females back there. There's two neon sore tails. One of them came with the, the sore tails when I got them. Uh, I bought six. They all were, I thought they all were female. Of course, that male, one of those male neon sore tails turned out to be a male. And uh, I did buy a male locally from my local fish store. Um, so they could, uh, you know, do their thing and drop some fry. So. I do have some outside. An update of those fish will be coming later on this week or next week or sometime, I'm sure. Up here we have some red wag platies. Looking to get rid of them. I think I'm just gonna give them to my local fish store. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Especially if you're local, I'll make you a fantastic deal. If I have to ship them though, it's gonna be, you know, there's, there's shipping involved because I can't just put it in a small box. I gotta put it in a large box to make sure there's enough water, so. Let me know if you're interested. If not, no big deal. All right, these are the half black red German AOCs. Uh, there's three young ones in here. I'm hoping there's a female. I owe a customer a female. And I'd like to continue the line. And my buddy Steve, the super breeder, hasn't really been reliable to get in touch with and get back to me and meet up because he has some of these in his fish room that I'd gladly buy from him so I could continue the line. Moving on, Disaster City. One day I came down here and there were no, zero, none Red Russian Lace Guppies in this tank. I have no idea what happened. So, drained the tank, vacuumed it out and put this, what the heck is this thing called? Purple Mosaic Dumbo Ear Sulfur Head Guppy. I put one female in here to see if I can get her to drop fry. Her back is pretty bent from that ginormous tail of hers, so we'll see. Also, this is another project. Uh, trying to get some males out of this. I did put a heater in here. I am overfeeding them quite a bit. Hopefully we can get some more males so I can start selling these. Cobra Guppy tank. Nothing really going on in here. Jarwee Lazuli tank. Having a problem with these. Sold the crap out of them. And um, hoping for some fry from the one female that's in there. I separated the male so he didn't eat any of the fry. And hopefully that would make the female drop some more fry so I can start selling these again. Trying to get some from my friend Karen, who I'm going to see on Sunday to pick up some other fish. Hopefully I can bribe her to give me some females. And then more cobra guppies, really nothing going on here, just growing out cobras, so yeah. Blue diamond guppies. We got some purple in some of them. I don't care, they look stellar. That fish is awesome. I may put that fish in a mutt tank or I may sell it separately, I'm not really sure. Uh, but there's two or three of them in there with the purple. I really like them. I'll be separating them for sure. But the blue diamonds are a great way to get up in the hobby with the special fancy guppies. Relatively inexpensive from uh, Michael's Fish Room. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. Actually, currently there is a sale going on. Use promo code World Cup for ten dollars off. So you could use it for shipping. So shipping's only ten dollars, or you could use it for fish. So fish is ten dollars off. Whatever you want, however you want to use it, but you get ten dollars off. All right, fishy folks. Moving on to the Japanese blue lower swordtails. These guys are very prolific. Very hardy. There's a female, there's a male. Uh, oh, there's one with some red, I gotta pull him out. Red is a predominant color with guppies, so they'll, they tend to sort of bleed through, but I'll pull him out, put him in the mutt tank. He's a fantastic mutt. Half 
black guppies waiting on these to grow out. Hopefully I have some males in there. Oh yeah, I do have a male and at least one female, so we should have babies at some point. Tanaka Maple Leafs, almost sold out of these. I only have two females and one male left, and currently there's two females. It looks like there's a tiny fry in there. I don't know if that how old that fry is, but well, I'll take whatever, because I sold the crap out of these too, because these are awesome. Um, purple Deltas. Need the colony to grow before I can put them on the website. These are the guys, they're, I mean, what more is to say? They're purple deltas. So they have, they're purple, pretty much three quarters of the fish, and uh, with del big delta tails. And they're stunning, but they're not breeding as much as I like, so I gotta get in there and do something, something. Half black reds. These are also uh, quite popular on michaelsfishroom.com. Very prolific, very hardy. Uh, I'll be splitting some of the males up from here. Uh, to hopefully get them grow faster and let the females drop their fry. These are steel nebula guppies, nebula steel guppies, whatever you want to call them. I have one male and uh, there's three ginormous females and a couple of juveniles. And there's fry in there somewhere hiding. Um, but just waiting for these to grow out before I put them back on the, the website. I mean, look, that's a stunning fish, especially if it would focus. You think with this fancy camera I could get it to focus and stuff, but I can't. I don't know how to use it. Sorry guys, I suck. Please don't go away. All right, uh, American Purple Deltas. These are the guys from uh, Hypnotic Aquatics. I haven't really heard from Dale Anderson in a while. I know he's got some stuff going on. Uh, but these are purple and they have a little yellow in them, so they really look stunning. It looks like she's about to drop some fry. Those boys are harassing her. Leave her alone, fellers. Uh, also, before I put these on the website, I want to get enough stock for you guys. But if you're interested, shoot me an email. We could probably work some out for a pair. This is my all-male guppy tank. I tend to separate males out so the females don't get harassed. And uh, yeah, everybody gets along in here because there's no female aggression. You can see there's a couple of Tanaka Maple Leaf males. Uh, there's a jade head male. There's a, a red grass, purple delta. Black Moscow. I mean, there's all, almost all of my guppies, there's a male in here. The original uh, American koi guppies are in here too. There's a Jarwi Lazuli up in the back, so yeah. All right, moving along, fishy folks, on the tour of Michael's Fisher. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. These are high fin, lair tail, sword tails. The whole colony is being sold on Saturday, as are everything in this tank, which is the hyphen platies. We'll move this way. We have the gold guppies or lemon guppies or yellow cobras, whatever you want to call them. They're all the same. Pretty prolific. Uh, there's fry in there for sure. And uh, yeah, there's some fry back there. Hopefully you can see it. Lots of fish just doing their things. All right, American, red, white, and blue American guppies. Uh, female, I think two females dropped fry because there's about 100 fry in there. Um, hopefully you can see them. And then when they grow up, they'll look stunning. All right, uh, these are the lime green cobras. I didn't have a heater in here for a while and I'm concerned that we're gonna get all females. We'll have to see, I did put a heater in here. Maybe the next drop there'll be some whales. I did find my own unscientific experiment the cooler the tank, the more females you have for guppies. I have no scientific proof other than if I put a heater in, I get more males. If I take a heater out, I get more females. So I don't mean more males, like there's 75% males if I have a heater in there. I mean, there's always more females than males, no matter what, but out of 20 fry, I'll have one or two males without a heater, or I'll have seven or eight with a heater. So again, nothing scientific about it, just real life testing. Here's the mutt tank. It is one of my favorite tanks in the fish room. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Look at all the colors. I sold some mutts to uh, Coop, Cooper Cichlids. He got them for his girl. And uh, they're doing well, and they're stunning. And uh, another easy way, if you're not looking to breed, to line breed guppies, you just want colorful fish, and you don't care what their babies look like, buy the five pack of mutts on the website. It's $20. That's $4 a fish. That's a little more expensive than if you, actually that's the same price at 
crappy Petco or PetSmart, and probably the same price at your local fish store, except you know the quality of these guys. Look at them, stunning. And you know what's funny is if I find a female that I have too many in a tank, I'll just throw her in here, let her drop in here, and let her, you know, get mixed genetics. Like, look at that yellow cobra. I could take that out and make it a yellow cobra, and that would be fantastic. There's a red cobra. There's like a purple something. Oh, her back looks jacked up. I may have to, she may have to be eaten. We'll see. Anywho, black Moscow guppies, folks. Get ready to put these on the website. Here's the plan, by the way. There's that uh, 10 gallon tank that's over there. That's empty. The males are gonna go in there. We're gonna let the juveniles and the, uh, the females live in here. There's also something else in here, which I have to show you. Lucky Schmuck actually check out his channel i talked about him before he sent me a bag of red cherry shrimp and i put them in here and I'm, i hope i can find one but i don't know there was 10 or 15 in there i didn't count there's one see it right there he's like hey mike i love your video i heard you talking about shrimp i'm gonna send you some shrimp oh and by the way if you want snails i'll send you snails that dude is awesome so that's what he did and they're in here and we'll let them uh, do their thing and maybe we'll be selling shrimp soon but uh, yeah, we'll see. So the plan is to take the males out, let them grow out in another tank. Females in here. As the juveniles grow up, we'll pull the males. These are gonna go on the website soon. Uh, black Moscow's stunning if you like black fish. Okay, folks. These are the magentas. Um, and snails, and there's plecos breeding in there somewhere, but Lots of snails, boom, chicka, boom, boom. Lots of guppies, the purple magentas. Uh, very prolific, very hardy. I do, I don't cull, but see like there's a pintail right here, right there. I'll put him in the mutt tank. So if you buy mutts, you could get him. If you're specifically interested in him, let me know, I'll see what I can do. And a couple more tanks we have. These are grass guppies, but they look like they're all females. I sent some to a customer who uh, who I met at Bucks County Aquarium Society auction, and I pulled out at least two that I hope are males. They look like males. They're gonna put. It looked like they had a gonapodium. Um, they're not showing any male colors yet, but um, he bought a pair at the show, and the the male got out of the tank somehow. So he just has a. I'm sorry, the female got out of the tank somehow. So he has a male, but kind of hoping uh, I sent him at least one more male. I mean, one male and six females, he'd be okay, but still, you know, you want to hook them up nice, right? So, there's a pleco breeding cave. There's two calicos in here. Um, I lost one the other day. I'm not really sure why, but, uh, I mean, they get plenty of food, so sometimes that just happens, I guess. All right, over here. These are the male half black magenta cobra guppies. Um, these were sent to me by a customer. I didn't raise these myself. They're sort of mutts, but they're stellar. They're spectacular. Look at them. I separated the males. We got the females and the fry down there. And uh, basically, the if you see really big guppies, that's how they do it. If you if you grow guppies together, males and females, the hormones in the water will it won't stunt their size. They just won't grow as fast. So, hey, I gotta change my battery. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I'm back. Still getting used to the camera. Forgive me. So, I made this tank, I, uh, I caught all the males, there's a couple of fry cut, I don't really care. Sponge filter, no, I lied, box filter, uh, lava rock, and batting, and that's that. So down here we have the males and the, I mean the females and the fry, and up here we have the males, and uh, these fish are awesome. Look at the variety. That one's pretty, I mean they're all awesome, look at them. Right, fishy folks i think that's it for the fish room tour uh we got water on the floor i'm trying to figure out where that's coming from oh look it's dripping do i have a leaking tank oh i see where it's coming from look can you see right there this just move that like that boom fixed that should be dry tomorrow uh like i said i did clean up the floor a little bit cleaned up the workbench a little bit oh here's a little thingy thingy so here's uh one of the things i use to clean tanks and I hang it up. Have you ever used your python or whatever? And then when you, you know, you throw it in the closet when you're done, and then you go to use it, like, 
two weeks later and it's got all black and crappy inside, I don't like that. So I just hang it to dry. Boom, done. All right, fishy folks, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your fishy needs. Hope everyone has a great Fry Fry Friday. Peace out, yo. Hiya, fishy folks. Before we talk about the fish room tour, I want you to go to michaelsfishroom.com. I don't want you to go now. We're gonna start over. Nah, we're just gonna let it go. I think, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. This is like breaking down the fourth wall. I'm just talking out loud to the camera and you're gonna watch it if you watch these bloopers. You know why? Because that's how I roll, I just keep it real. I really wanna shave this. I've been into an egg sandwich today and I asked Laura at my company's uh, cafeteria, I said, please make sure my yolk is runny. I like when it runs down my arm. And I took one bite out of this delicious bacon egg and hash brown and cheese on a brioche sandwich this morning. Not only was it, did it run down my arm, it exploded. I had it dripping here. It was all over my shirt and my pants. And it was like eight o'clock this morning. So all day, dirty shirt, dirty pants, egg in the beard, but whatever. All right, I digress. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great fishy week. Hope everyone has some great fishy plans. My plan on Saturday or Sunday, on Sunday, to go see my fishy friend Karen and Alan and pick up some plecos and hopefully some guppies. Please, Karen, I need guppies. And uh, guys, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Use promo code WORLDCUP for $10 off your entire purchase. So on today's episode of Fry Fry Friday, fish room tour around the world, the whole kit and caboodle. Please guys, stick around. It's gonna be awesome. Get in my belly. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. First thing I gotta tell you, sale at Michael's Fish Room. Use promo code WORLDCUP for $10 off your purchase. I could say use it for $10 shipping. That would be some fancy marketing ploy because shipping is normally $20. But you guys are smart enough to know if it's $10 off, it's just $10 off. So boom, go check it out. Michaelsfishroom.com. Real quick, we'll talk about the World Cup. My vote's for Belgium. Let me know who your vote is for. And in this Fry Fry Friday, no, I should start over. I'm gonna start over. So if you watch this as a blooper, what you saw in the beginning is what's coming up now. Hiya, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for some awesome fish. Every fish you see in this fish room possibly could be for sale. If you don't see it on the website, email me at michaelsfishroom.com and we could probably make a deal. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. Use promo code WORLDCUP for $10 off your purchase. Everything you buy, $10 off. That's not true. I'm gonna start again. <coughs> Could go for some water. It's hot down here. <clears throat> Hiya, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com where you can buy all the fish you see in this fish room. If it's not on the website, email me, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com and maybe we can work something out. But fishy folks, Friday, Friday Fry. Uh, this is bad. You know why? Because I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Over here we have the, look at this. This guy is a lit, me, uh, yeah. wow, I can't speak today. 